There we go. guys welcome back to another episode of fly time tuesdays here with carlisle fly and foul today we're going to tie a super simple streamer that uh, everybody doesn't matter if you fish salt water or fresh water every fly angler needs to have one of these in their box at all times um, it's a super easy pattern uh, this is called the clouser minnow uh, this is developed by bob clouser um, and this is a super um, old and effective uh, pattern um, and it fishes hook point up like this. Um, so you get your darker color on top and then your white or lighter color down here on the bottom. Um, and some lead eyes, dumbbell eyes. Um, super simple, super easy to tie. And I'm going to show you guys how I tie that today. Starting off with an Arex size 4 streamer hook. And we're going to start off with um, some white GSP thread. Go ahead and get that started on our shank. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna tie in our dumbbell eyes. So about a, a eye length there from the eye. And we're just gonna start in with our dumbbell eyes and do a couple loose wraps. And we're just basically gonna do Get this back a little bit further basically we're just going to do figure eight wraps around those dumbbell eyes to secure them to the shank and every once in a while you kind of go back over the uh, shank of the hook without going over the dumbbell eyes um, and doing that several times kind of helps save your work so we're gonna do you know several and then we're to come in and go above the hook and below the dumbbell eyes. And what this does is it helps secure those thread wraps around those dumbbell eyes and really helps, really helps seat that knot or seat those dumbbell eyes. bring our thread to in front of those eyes and we're going to tie in our first material and it's going to be just some white white bucktail bucktail and cut you off some off of the uh, skin there and you don't want to go really really thick you want it to kind of be fairly sparse on this um, you know, you can tie it however you like. There are no rules in fly tying. Um, but what I like to see is a little bit less bulk, especially on this bottom color. Um, pull out some of these short fibers. There, that looks good. And you want to kind of do maybe a hook shank and length. Kind of transfer that back. Attach that hair to the hook in front of the dumbbell eyes, wrap it rearward, and then come under your dumbbell eyes and do a couple more wraps here. At that point, we can bring our thread back forward, kind of clean some of this up, cut that excess off close. So now uh, this is where we're going to tie in some uh, crystal flash to do so we're going to Rotate our hook upside down And this is the way that this fly is going to move through the water because these these lead dumbbell eyes are going to kind of keep it uh, they're, they're going to be underneath the the fly there. So it's going to kind of keep it uh, Keeled with the point tip up And so now we're going to come in with some just some uh, crystal flash. You don't have to go crazy with this. Um, just a couple of 
just cut off a couple of strands. You can go super crazy with that. Just cut off like three or four strands. And we're going to tie this in and fold it pretty much in half over your thread. We're going to tie that in right there. Bring it back. And with the crystal flash, I'm not going to go behind those dumbbell eyes. I want those to kind of move a little bit more freely. So we bring our thread back up. And now we're going to tie in our darker bucktail. And for this fly, I'm going to stick with chartreuse. Um, that's pretty much the staple pattern is chartreuse over white. Um, but you can do it in pink, purple, blue, orange, green, um, or natural. You can kind of do it however you want, gray. Um, there's really, um, the, the combinations are endless with that. So I'm going to kind of keep it a little bit more sparse, um, but a little bit thicker than I did on the white. So that looks good. I'm going to pull out some of these short fibers because those are not going to really add any benefit to us. Okay. So again, we're going to kind of measure. About the same length as the white, maybe a little bit longer. And then we're going to tie that in in front of those dumbbell eyes, right behind the eye of the hook. And again, same thing as we did the crystal flash, we are not going to go behind those dumbbell eyes. We're going to leave those up front come in and cut those butts off close doing a little bit of cleanup here on the head to get a little bit of a taper here come in with your whip finish tool just do a four or five turn whip finish Now, just to add a little bit of durability, I'm going to come in with some Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails, uh, just for some head cement on these thread wraps. Just adds a little bit of durability to it. You can get to go super crazy with it. Also, I'll add a little bit on the thread wraps there over those dumbbell eyes. If you get a little bit too much, you can come in with your uh, bodkin and kind of scrape some of that away. Alrighty, and uh, we're going to kind of trim up our crystal flash a little bit. And there you have it. That is the Clouser Minnow. Um, and this is again chartreuse over white with a little bit of uh, crystal flash and those dumbbell eyes there um, again this is a super effective pattern and it should be in everybody's fly box at all times um, it just seems to always catch fish no matter where you're at whether that be in the salt water or fresh water fishing for bass trout um, or anything there on the coast and the uh, the salt water so Again, super easy uh, fly to tie. You can crank these out really quickly, um, and it it, uh, it fishes really, really well. So, anyway, uh, if you guys uh, have any more flies that you guys want to see me tie, drop those in the comments below, and I'll try to get on top of that and uh, get some of those tied up for you guys. I really enjoy doing these Fly Tying Tuesdays with you guys. Uh, it gets me behind the vise and uh, kind of keeps my, my tying skills sharp. Um, but anyway... If you guys could just like and subscribe and again leave me a comment in uh, comments below let me know what you, what you guys want to see next uh, but that's it we'll see you on the next one